so I thought today I would do an update video. I've got a few things to talk to you about. So if you do watch this video all the way through, that would be terrific. The first thing is a reminder because the subscriber giveaway is nearly over. It closes on Friday the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, how fun and romantic. And the winner will be announced here on YouTube, possibly also over on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, I haven't decided yet. The winner will also be contacted via their inbox. So make sure you're checking your inboxes on Friday. And if you haven't entered already, make sure you get your entries in. It's nearly over, how exciting. The second thing I have to talk about is of course, why I haven't been here this last week. A lot of people have noticed that I disappeared. Um, and I have had some messages asking where the videos are for this week. There is a very good excuse to this. Uh, but first of all, before I go into explain that, I want to say a massive, massive thank you because a lot of you do know why I wasn't here. And so many of you have been sending me messages of support and of getting wellness. Is that, is that a thing? Getting wellness? Well wishes, that's the one I want. And every day I've been getting messages on all of the social media and it's been so wonderful, it's really made my day, it's made me smile so much just to know how much people care and I just love all of you guys so much, you always make me so happy. So I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for that because it was just so sweet and wonderful of all of you to send such kind messages. For those of you who don't know why I wasn't here this week, uh, I do have a fairly good excuse for that and, and I will explain to you exactly what happened. This has not been a very good week for me at all. To start with, on Monday my employer told me that the nursery could no longer afford to employ me so that at the end of this week I would be out of a job, which is a really bad start to the week as it was. And Tuesday decided to make that a heck of a lot more exciting. Yay! So I was walking back on Tuesday from one of my very last days at work and I was walking along the same stretch of road that I walk every single day. I walk from the bus stop to work and back again twice a day, every day for the last however many months. So I know this road really well and I was walking home on the Tuesday and to the left of me is a main road and that goes from one side of the city right the way through to the other side of the city. So it's got a lot of cars running along it and I do pay attention to that road because it's very, very busy. And on the right side of me are just lots of buildings, there was a bank, there was a little further down, there was a couple of shops and things like that. And between the bank and a shop up ahead, there's a gap in the buildings and it's still on the pavement, but it's a little gap that goes into a, a parking area for the people who work at the bank. So of course I wasn't really paying attention to it, I walked past it every day, twice a day, doesn't really make a difference to me. And as I'm coming up towards it on this Tuesday, all of a sudden a black car comes pulling out of it quite quickly. He probably wasn't going super fast, but to me it seemed very fast at the time. And he obviously wasn't looking where he was going. We think he was probably looking in the opposite direction. We drive on the left side of the road here, so we think he was looking up to the traffic that was coming down the road so that he could turn and pull in with the flow of traffic and join onto the main road. And the reason we suspect this is because he then made a very sharp turn out of this gap and towards me. Mm, yeah, fun. So he hit me head on and it was terrifying because obviously I only just saw this car coming out. It was a very sudden split second thing. I saw the car and then I was on the floor and that was it. And I actually, I hit his bonnet. I came into contact Thankfully, I didn't hit my head. I was very, very lucky. Uh, I hit the bonnet of the car and he didn't break until after he hit me, which is sort of a telltale sign for the fact he wasn't looking where he was going. And it threw me, the force of the car, because I'm only really little. I'm only just five foot two, not even that. And I'm quite small framed. So I got thrown back quite a bit and I landed about two feet away from the front of the car. Uh, I did bruise the side of me, which I caught myself on. Thankfully, again, didn't hit my head on the concrete floor. Very, very lucky. The driver did stop and get out and help me. And at first I thought I was just in a lot of shock, that I was okay, that I wasn't seriously injured in any way. And I was shaking a lot. A few people did see me uh, get hit and they came over to help. One of the people who came over to help was a parent from the nursery, so that was interesting. She was immediately phoning my mum, asking if I needed an ambulance and everything. Um, so they all helped me up and they helped me across the opposite side of the road where there was a bus station and um, some benches and they sat me down there and wait, so we waited for my mum to arrive and I just seemed to be okay I was sort of calming down from the shock and everything still very shaky uh, the driver stayed with us he gave us all his information and everything a lot of people have asked if we're going to be pressing charges we are not it was a complete accident I'm sure the guy feels bad enough for hitting someone as it is he doesn't need to go through the stress of being sued and everything for it anyway there was no major serious injury so you know. So while we were sat down waiting, I did notice my knee was really starting to hurt and it ended up with me being in the hospital that night and I had some x-rays, I got pushed about in a wheelchair for a bit, I had my leg pulled about by doctors bending it in every which way direction um, and pushing on the bits that hurt, thank you very much doctors, and they thought I'd fractured my kneecap 
And thankfully the x-rays came back to say that no I hadn't, it was just a lot of fluid swelling around the knee, they suspected lots of blood swelling where I'd broken some blood vessels and they wrapped me up in a bandage and sent me home and that was it. So the terrific thing is I have been amazingly lucky that I did not get any serious injuries. However, having had a leg that I can barely stand on, I haven't got a leg to stand on. <laughs> you haven't got a leg to stand on. I haven't on. got a leg to stand on. <laughs> But having had my leg wrapped up in bandages and not really being able to use it at all, I have been pretty much bed bound or at least room bound. If I'm upstairs, I have to stay upstairs. If I'm downstairs, I have to stay downstairs because the staircase has been really, really difficult for me to climb. My leg is still aching today, although today, on Sunday the whatever of February, I am out of bandages and I did climb a staircase today for the first time all week. I am very proud of myself, but I am still very much bruised up. It hurts a lot. Um, but I am trying my best to get back into the videos. I've not been wasting my time this last week though. I've spent all this time editing together pre-recorded videos that I luckily recorded the weekend before the accident. So there are a lot of videos coming your way, although I haven't really recorded any this week. They're all ones from a little while ago, but I hope you're going to enjoy them anyway. As an apology for me not being this, here this week, there are going to be videos pretty much every day next week, so I hope that makes up for it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy them. One of the videos, very, very exciting, because you may have noticed that behind me, on top of the lat cage, Amelie's is no longer there. That's where she used to live, on top of here. Amelie's is, in fact, in the lat cage, and there is a very good reason for us deciding to get rid of the bin cage and the natural theme and movement of this. If you want to know the reason we had to get rid of the natural theme cage, please watch her Taming Diaries Part 3. It will explain everything in there. Uh, we had a very, very good reason for that. But the real question is, where has Einstein gone if Amelaise is in here? Well, that is one of the videos you will be seeing this week. I hope you're all going to be very excited about it, because I am certainly very excited about it. So I think that is everything I needed to cover. The contest, being hit by a car, yay. And the hamster changes. Yep, I think that's it. I hope you are going to look forward to this week and the continuingness of my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've never subscribed to our channel before, hit that subscribe button because we're not quite as mad as we may seem and you will enjoy our videos, I hope. By the way guys, do you not love the jumper I am wearing today? I got this from David and Goliath, which is, their website is actually called chicksrule.com. It is a bunny rabbit. I don't know if they have any more of these left. They are on clearance. But isn't it adorable? It's a bunny rabbit. And it looks like Jack if we gave him a bow in his hair. It's just so sweet. I love it. It's adorable. Go buy a bunny jumper. It's really cute. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys.